Hello, everybody, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. This is Zach from Jurassic Park Daily, and today I would like to talk about this awesome Jurassic World Legacy set, Mattel's Tyrannosaurus Rex Escape Pack featuring the much-anticipated Ford Explorer. Let's just jump right into it. Hey, look at this! Wait, hey, watch! Hey, come on, watch this! All right, so the first thing I want to discuss in this review is Tim. Finally, we have the long-awaited return of humans in this toy line, and Mattel hasn't disappointed, especially with Tim. I'll bring him closer to the camera for you. As you can see, the likeness is actually pretty close. It's not spot-on, but it's it definitely resembles Joseph Mazzello, and we even got the, uh, the ascot. They actually carved it in this time, which is nice compared to Dr. Grant, where... Let's see if it kind of zooms in. You can't really tell, unfortunately. This is a custom, so it definitely is a little bit harder to tell with the darker blue shade that I went with. But they actually sculpted it in this time, which is a massive upgrade from the very first Grant, which I would not mind if Mattel wanted to re-release with a Battle Damage variant or a Montana version. Wait! God damn it! Tim comes with the standard articulation in the legs. Uh, you can kind of move them left and right for a slight running pose if you want. Uh, the arms, they kind of go up and down. Unfortunately, there's no arm articulation, which they did the same for Maisie, and it kind of drives me nuts because I don't like staction figures. Uh, I'm not asking for, you know, 18 points of articulation or anything, but I would like to at least move his arms up and down. The hands are also static, but I mean, it's the articulation is good enough, and if you really needed, you could put him in a decent running pose or an action pose. It's just a little bit unfortunate that we couldn't get the... Or Mattel couldn't find a way to add the articulation, but it's a, it doesn't look like it would have been particularly easy, so... And something funny to note, it's not really a big deal, but I was looking on the inside and I noticed that Mattel didn't continue the stripes on the inside. Uh, it's actually, it's a little funny to me because I do the same thing when I'm making my custom humans. If they're wearing a coat, I'm not going to bother layering it. And of course, we cannot forget Tim's iconic night vision goggles, which actually played a massive part in the book, but were kind of relegated to a joke in the film. But Mattel did a great job on this. I'm hoping with how well they sculpted these goggles. I mean, I know it's not really the hardest thing in the world, but I'm hoping that we get a Black Series-esque line with Jurassic props. These would be lovely to have a replica of after Chronicle Collectibles took all of our money and uh, ran off with it. Another thing of note in the background is the Tyrannosaur. I actually wound up repainting and shipping off the one that came in this set to a friend, so unfortunately that will be missing from today's review, but I don't think anyone came to the video to see yet another Mattel T-Rex. And now what we've all been waiting for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody stay here. It was a long wait, but it was absolutely worth it. The attention to detail that Mattel has put into this thing is incredible, to say the least. There are a few things missing, um, you know, there's no BF Goodrich sticker here, uh, the plastic on the inside of the tire is not there, there's no sticker which is kind of disappointing, I really wish they'd put the sticker in there, but it's not exactly that hard to find a Jurassic Park uh, map that you could print out and put that on there, but it just would have been a neat little detail. Uh, the door's open, obviously, and the window, the windshield comes down. I don't really want to do it too often. I've heard a lot of reports about people scratching it because it's plastic, obviously, and I'm not really interested in doing that. I added some black trim that was missing. All this over here was red. I also have some reflective tape uh, I intend on putting. Let's see if I can get the camera to zoom in on the mirrors. I did it for the Jeep. I might add in a picture if I can. Um, but it just adds a lot to add that reflective tape. It actually looks like a mirror. Another thing of note, which is awesome, is they actually got the Explorer um, XLT logo on there, as well as the Ford logo itself on there. I don't have it on hand, but I'm not entirely sure if they even went that far with the Jeep. And of course we have the license plate and a spare tire underneath for your Tyrannosaur to attack while it's trying to get to Tim. God, uh, she was always my favorite when I was a kid, and now I see she's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. <laughs> I mean, overall, this is just truly an incredible product. I really cannot recommend it enough. Once this hits stateside, which I believe it already has, I've seen a few reports of people 
finding it in Targets in California, which means on the East Coast, for all of us East Coast Jurassic fans watching, we'll see it sometime next month. I truly can't praise this set enough. This is what I've been asking for since Mattel has acquired the license and since when Hasbro has had the license. Uh, you know, collectibles with Jurassic, they don't really seem to mix well. Things always go wrong. Universal doesn't take enough care of the franchise. All right, Jurassic fans. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you so very much for watching. For more Jurassic Park greatness, you can follow me over on my Instagram at Jurassic Park underscore daily. And I will also leave a link in the description down below where you can pre-order the Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack directly from Target. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.